Ad Push Up is a ad tech company. We help online publishers, websites uh, improve or optimize or maximize their ad revenues. Let me first explain the problem. So the situation right now is no existing tool which will help web publishers test ad placements, ad sizes, ad types, and different settings in ads such as ad colors, their background colors, you know. And there's no existing tool which can help you test all these placements across multiple ad networks and tag the performance. So publishers right now are losing money on the table by not optimizing various characteristics of the ads, like I said, the placement, sizes, and other characteristics. So, and the current players which work from a publisher's end are SSPs, supply side platforms, and ad networks. And what do they do? They primarily help publishers make more money by improving uh, or, you know, the targeting, uh, user targeting, they make the ads more relevant. So the click-through rate improves. They improve the yield, which is not a very big problem at this time. So basically, they improve the fill rates for ads. And last thing is real-time bidding, which is the future, I call it, or has already started, uh, which helps publishers, you know, sell each ad impression, each visitor ads, visitor's ad impression at the highest rate possible, a live auction, if you could say that. But the thing is, th this is where they stop. They have no control over the publisher's websites, over the placements of ads, so they cannot actually help publishers fight banner blindness, which is a big phenomenon right now. And what do we do? We are self-service ad maximization or ad revenue maximization platform, which helps these publishers test and optimize ad revenues. We work on desktop and mobile sites. We utilize advanced A-B testing. So this is a machine learning algorithm, but for the user's sake, we call it advanced A-B testing. And we use 25 plus matrix to find the best performing ads. This is how it works, a very brief example. We can probably test different ad placements. We can test different ad sizes, characteristics, ad networks across and improve ad revenue for publishers. Uh, a sneak peek of the product, uh, we've made a visual editor, which can help a user do it all on its own. I also have a small video in which I'll show you how an ad ops guy from BBC would be doing it. In fact, their CEO can do it, it's so simple. You can see in the video that placing ads, so in less than 60 seconds, you can actually you know, define all the ads, start your test, and actually, this is actually just 20 second video. You can place ads on your website, define placements, and start testing in less than a minute. And if you were ideally to do it, the current situation, in the current situation, if you were to do it, it would take you hours to create 100 plus ad variations and then, then somehow figure out making a JavaScript hack to, you know, make sure only three ads or your number of ads show up at a time. And this is how the ads op guy has done, you know. It, it's just like, you know, so if it was BBC, they would have done it in less than a minute. So that's the kind of, uh, you know, control which publishers have. And, you know, it's very easily easy to use. We also work in, on mobile, and mobile is very important for us also, which, because we are seeing a lot of traction coming on this side at this moment. A case study, a publisher recently signed up, signed up with us, and within three weeks, we were able to optimize these ad reviews, RPM, revenue per thousand impressions, from $3.82 to $12, a 300% jump. Uh, we are growing super fast. In fact, 300% month on month. Our first private beta release was in March this year, 500,000 impressions, and then on the squared, 300%, 3 million next month, 10 million next month. And this month, we're going to finish more than 100 million ad impressions optimized. Uh, some key numbers, 65%, so that's the number. The, uh, if you sign up with us, the average improvement in or optimization in ad revenues is 65%. You come to me with $10,000 in revenue, you'll, you're already making 6,500 additional from us. Team size, four people, and uh, like I said, 400 million ad impressions is what we're delivering this month. Uh, some key data, so last month we helped our publishers generate an additional $20,000. This month, again, 3x, somewhere around 60,000. So our publishers will go on to mail, act, make actual money, additional money, using our tool. So that's the kind of value we're adding to them. We have a direct impact on their PNL. Uh, we're working with 80 plus, 80 plus publishers right now, 1,500 plus in our waiting list for uh, public beta. Alexa 100 website in Mexico, Alexa 50 in Egypt, Alexa 30 in India. Happy to connect with customers and uh, all are acquired organically with zero marketing spend. So we don't have a marketing team. We're focusing completely on the product right now. We do some inbound marketing though. To give you an example, we've hit the Hacker News homepage, Buy Combinator homepage multiple times. Dave McClure has, been, has tweeted about us. They have recommended our content and tweeted about us. Hitain Shah, Kiss Matrix. Uh, the official Google Analytics uh, Twitter handle, and a lot of websites, including Neil Patel, Crazy X. So these guys have been recommending and tweeting our content, sharing it. 
uh, Jason, let me come back, and Jason Knapp is an important guy. So he's the guy who invented real-time bidding, right? This is the guy who made real-time bidding happen, and this his guy has also been sharing and promoting our content. Uh, some user love, which we are getting. So, and one guy went on ahead and to even say that, you know, it does not even compare to what, you know, what we are delivering. It does not even compare to even Google at this point in time. Um, a mail I just received last night, again, shows that, you know, people are recommending us and the organic signups or the virality is kicking in. Four people team, um, that's me, Ankit, and Atul, my co-founder, is present here as well. We're raising, so for the investors in the house, we're raising uh, 500,000 to 750K. Uh, probably shows the fund allocation. Of course, we have a detailed fund utilization plan, and beer is important, by the way. Uh, and investors in the house, if you are not already saying, shut up and take my money, not already convinced, then I can show you these documents also and connect offline. Thank you. Uh, so I'm curious about your typical customer. Is this a small business? I mean, I know you showed us a... So we are focusing only, uh, consciously we are only focusing on the long tail and the medium tail because most of the current players um, are not focusing on them. So if you talk about a SSP, although they, our products are very different, if you talk about a Pubmatic or a Rubicon or all the large players, they're primarily focusing on the fat tail. But we are, have a market differentiation also. Not that we can't, so we have, we are working with a very large website in India. In fact, one of the top five. So we have a unique proposition for them. But they're not, we are not consciously, consciously focusing on getting them on board because this requires a technically offline sales team. So this is something that people are doing using a combination of Google Analytics and Optimizely, so right a visual now, website. So yeah. Optimizely and uh, Wingy Fan all are made for conversion rate optimization. They don't work with ads. So they are work for conversion rate optimization and advertisers. So they're not built for publishers. You cannot test ad placements. You cannot, so it requires deeper integration with publishers. It requires integration with ad networks. And uh, they do A-B testing. So then in this case, when you're fighting banner blindness, it's a completely different game. So there's a completely different market. Target audience in this case is essentially the guys who are basically designing at the publisher's side. Typically the publishers themselves. Typ typically the publishers. Ad-ops guys. Ad-ops ad guys, People who handle ad operations. Uh, and and so, so is, this, is this like a, a subscription-based model that you work with or it's like a fixed fee model? What's so, the so we don't charge right now. Okay. We just inco so incorporation happened a little late for us. We built the product first, and we just incorporated last week in Delaware. Uh, we don't charge right now. We see that we are clearly adding value. I told you the figures. We are the additional revenue we're generating. So we are figuring out three or four business models. One of them is of course SaaS. Uh, one could be a percentage of the uplift which we are giving them. Then there are some other interesting strategical uh, monetization options also on the table. But to be honest, we haven't given much thought at the moment. 